Hi, I'm Diana, founder of ZeroWork. In the last videos, I showed you how to save a list of profiles to a data table or a Google Sheet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paginate through the search results. Let's go to an example. Here on LinkedIn.com, I've um, entered some search keyword, and now I've gotten search results. Remember, in the last videos, we've saved the results, the search results or profiles from the first page, but we never um, paginated through the pages and so we never saved more than 10. Okay, so this video is going to correct that. So every page here contains 10 results, but we also need to paginate through these pages. The way we're going to do it is by setting up a loop uh, so that the taskbot is going to click on this button next for 100 times. Now in my example, I'm just going to paginate over five pages and you can paginate through a number of pages that you need for your use case. Okay, so let's get started. We've got here the workflow that we've built over the last videos. So here's the link with the search results. Then we enter a loop where we are iterating over 10 profiles uh, per page and then we are saving them with the building block save web element to our data table which is called profiles. Okay, so here we need to add another loop and this loop is going to contain the loop that's iterating over the list. So in other words, we have here nested loop. This is our main loop, which is clicking on the button next. And then we have an inner nested loop that saves 10 profiles for each loop iteration. What's missing yet is clicking on that next button. So let's add a building block after repeat. We need to add it after the nested loop. So in other words, once the nested loop saved 10 profiles, then after that, we're going to click on the button next. So let's add the building block. Click web element and let's add the label of that next button, like so. I'm also going to add a bigger delay because it may take a a while on LinkedIn to load these search results. So let's uh, sum up what is happening here. We're opening LinkedIn, then we're entering a loop uh, where Taskboard um, clicks on this next button for a certain amount of, uh, of repetitions. So I'm going to add here um, five because we haven't done that yet. So let's select standard loop and then let's enter five. As mentioned, if you want to paginate over 100 results, then just enter 100. And I'm going to paginate through five results only. Save, five pages only. So the taskbot is going to click on the next button for five times. And on every loop iteration, it will first, however, save 10 results from a page. If you're wondering if the selectors are the same on every page, yes, they are. It's always the case. Now, uh, I also want to mention, what do you do about endless scroll? So for example, on some pages, you don't have pagination, but instead you are scrolling kind of endlessly for the results to load. This is handled out of the box in zero work, so you don't need to handle that. Okay, so, now let's run this task board and um, then check the results. So here is uh, the first page that the task board is opening. Second page. And there are just a few more to go. There is a delay between every page, as you know, And if I'm not mistaken, there is just one more page to go. All right, let's check the results. We've got 50 profiles from five pages and that's how you can paginate over search results. One more note. While testing this taskbot, I noticed that if the screen size is smaller, sometimes this button is not visible enough for the taskbot to click on this next button. So to avoid this problem, you simply need to add the keyboard action with the uh, space 
bar, so simply hit space bar on your keyboard, like so. Save, connect, and this will ensure that your taskbot first scrolls on that page. If you're not sure why we're using spacebar, let me show you. Let's go to the search results and then watch me hit spacebar. So you see by hitting space, uh, you are scrolling on the page. That's why it works. So, thank you for watching.